which sucks. Robinson Show. Yeah, hi, it's Joe Peppy. Joe Peppy, how you doing? I'm good. How about yourself? Good, good. You are a personal trainer uh, from Philly, correct? Yep. How long have you been doing that? Uh, so I've been personal training for about nine years now. I went and into a corporate foundation years ago. So I've been doing corporate fitness for about five oh. years at this moment. So like for companies, you go in and like, you, do you have like uh, seminars and type stuff? Yeah, so for the most part with corporate fitness, you get like these big companies. I don't want to throw out anybody's names, obviously. No, but no. Um, yeah, but you go in and some places will ask you to like build a layout of a fitness center and then man that fitness center. Some will ask for a healthy lunch and learn seminars. Like next week, we're doing something in the sense of like how the busy professional eats oh, wow. so that we can keep people on track. And our goal is to get as many people as possible to be healthy. What's the most important thing, like, for a corporate a business guy to do during the course of a day? You know, it's funny because when it comes to corporate people, they don't have a lot of time. You know, nine to five, they got meeting after meeting after meeting. They got to get in. They got to get out. They got to get going. So I tell everyone to take one or two things and become an expert at it. You want to be really good at getting your water intake down, then figure out that you need half your body weight in ounces, you know, ounce-wise and become an expert in that. You want to get really good at running? Well, come down here for 20 minutes and really hit it like a stick of dynamite. Cool, cool. I was going to ask I was going to ask what your major clientele was. Was it overweight? Was it elderly? Was it like a rehabilitation type? But so that's that's really what you deal with. Yeah, and like, you know, corporate fitness like you said is a bunch of business people in different like worlds. But a lot of them still have that inner athlete. Some are dealing with ACL injuries. Some are trying to train for the Philly Marathon, let's say. Some are getting ready for Spartan races and Tough Mudders and obstacle courses, which is like my world. So it's fun because you get so many different areas that you get to deal with. That's cool. That's cool. What, um, what, would, what would you do if you weren't a personal trainer? Oh, man. I mean, if I got to pick anything in the world, I really, and I think I probably would have been really good at this. I probably would have tried to get in the NFL, but as a five foot nine guy, it's a lot harder to get in there. Really? I have the speed for it. I have, like, you know, the ability, the agility. I have really good hands, but I'm just too short. What's the, wow, well, that's, that's not even that short, though, five nine. What's the um, height that somebody should be going to the NFL? You know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, there's always, like, the Darren Sproles, you know, everyone, like, the littler guys that have been in different sports. But in Philadelphia, it was kind of like, oh, you're not six foot or above. You're oh. not going to make the high school team. Don't even try out, which wow. is why I switched over to soccer, which was a sport I loved anyway. But still, like, football is my passion. Wow. Yeah, I was going to ask if you if you played any sports. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played sports growing up, all of them growing up. But I got particularly good at soccer, which led me to playing minor league soccer for the MLS. That's and awesome. then I retired a few years after that, because at a certain point you just realize like you're good, but you're not that good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so why, why did you, why do you like football more than soccer? Uh, you know what? I don't know if it was the whole like Philadelphia Eagles thing, naming their mascot thing. I don't know I if saw it's that. because like, you grow up on the street and you're just throwing a football around all the time, but I was faster than everybody. So you give me that, like that nine route, that go route. And there wasn't a person and there still isn't that's going to keep up with me. And I'm going to blaze them out by like at least 10 yards. You were named the Philadelphia Eagle mascot, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So that's something I did as a child. I, uh, seven or eight years old, my dad and I used to play this game where we would get the paper and we would circle the helmets in the paper of like who would win the most games, like chargers or Dolphins, you know, stuff like that. And whoever had won most just won for pride. And there was a contest that said like the Eagles have a new mascot coming. It's an Eagle, like send in your best name. You'll win like season tickets to sign football, all this fun stuff. Oh. And this is how old it was, was that, um, my dad sent me upstairs to read the encyclopedia <laughs> and yeah that's how far along we're talking yes and i went up and i found out that an eagle swoops down on its prey so you named the you named the actual mascot what did you name it i named it swoop yeah 
Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's well, awesome. And, yeah, an eagle swoops down in its prey. I thought it was a perfect name because we should be swooping down on these other teams. Now, uh, back then, we weren't that great of a team. I mean, obviously, we were no Super Bowl champions like we are now. <laughs> what do you think about this one coming up? Do you think they'll do it again, or do you think that was like a one-time? I, I mean, I'm super excited. So it's the it's the plight of the Philadelphia fan where you're super excited. You're yeah, repeat. We got a MVP type quarterback in Carson Wentz. We got the Super Bowl MVP and Nick Foles. We got all these pieces, but then it's still Philadelphia, and we have a history of just nonsense happening. Who gets <laughs> injured? Who gets traded? Yeah. Who just leaves? Like, and it's just you're you're always playing that fifty fifty ball where like we can repeat, but yeah, we're Philadelphia, so I'm also <laughs> waiting for the ball to drop. Yeah, that's kind of like how I feel like being a Mets fan is like yeah, like. <laughs> I, uh, I do not- <laughs> Mets. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel, I feel for you, man. Like, I mean, I'm a, I'm Philly a Yankees fan, fan but, I, but uh, like I know the Mets, they got, they got one of the biggest payrolls, and they get, they get great players, but they just never make it happen. Yeah, there's, there's a one of my favorite scenes ever on TV is a Family Guy scene is Stewie at a Mets game, and the announcer's like, "Oh, welcome to the Mets season." And you hear like, the ball get hit, and he's like, "And it's over." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez. I, I heard you mention, uh, uh, like, obstacle courses, Joe. You were recently um, on Total Knockout with Kevin Hart, right? Yeah. And you, you won, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I won. In that, and at the moment, I have the top time by, I think, at least three minutes, if not two minutes and some change. Nice. Are you going to have to defend yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so the way it works is they're going to be running the episodes and they'll have five people running again for $100,000 at the end of the season, which let's hope that I'm in that five. Oh, cool. And so it's, it's kind of like, um, uh, what's that show? Um, American Ninja Warrior. Kind of like Warrior, that, right? Okay. Yeah. It, it, uh, it has a fun mix of like Ninja Warrior. It has a fun mix of, uh, but like for the most part, to me, it reminded me a lot of like Wipeout and American yes. Gladiator, which was a show yes. I grew up, grew up on as a kid. American and all I wanted to do yeah. was face off against people named like Laser and Blazer <laughs> and Hazer. <laughs> yes, all the Azers. But I love, I love the Wipeout. Yeah. Like you said, Wipeout, that's one of my favorites. Like, that's a great one. Uh, did you dub- I love these shows. All these types of shows are fun. Did you yeah. demand that you have a cool name like that? Like your Slicer? <laughs> I'm, Slicer? Uh, part, of me, part of me really wanted to do that because <laughs> one of my favorite movies is Dodgeball and one of my favorite Halloween costumes was like Goodman because I would always walk around the bar and be like, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. So <laughs> I, was a huge, I was a huge fan of like trying to incorporate that. <laughs> but they were like, okay, you, you just, you know, run the course and be quiet. <laughs> like, such we're gonna, you're not going to, there's going to be no microphones on you. You're just, you're just doing it. Yeah, no. that, that's basically like what they were like, oh, we might have like, probably we should mute him. Like, <laughs> we're we're going to have somebody uh, dub your voice. <laughs> such yeah, you know, like, like, an old, like an old Jackie Chan movie. Like they, they worked that well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's cool though that's really cool um uh i just because my friends at work are always asking who's on the show and all my buddy mike just uh yesterday asked me who was on and i sh- i showed him you and he's like i just saw i just saw him win he, he knew everything about you he's like, he knew about the oh, eagles mascot awesome. thing yeah my buddy mike he just he was like that guy's yeah, awesome that, that- it's such a cool thing to hear that, but it's still so weird to me because, like, the day after the show aired, I was taking public transportation to work. I was on the subway, and this guy walks up, and he's like, you're Joe Peppy, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, what did I do? I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not used to, like, hearing, like, good things. I'm used to hearing, like, oh, you broke this, you know? <laughs> you owe me 50 bucks, bro. Yeah, that's, I was so nervous. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to date your daughter in high school. Like, that's like the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, that's cool, though. That's cool. Like, so you're getting a lot more positive, positive interactions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot, like 99% positive interactions. I, um, I'm getting a few people that I haven't heard from in years that, like, 
I don't know what they think I became. Like, I don't know if they think I'm like a Kardashian or something now. And I'm super famous. Bro, can I borrow and, 10 and grand? You know, like, can I borrow this money? Oh, I got this great investment idea. And I'm like, ah, uh, you know, like. Yo, my buddy <laughs> Brian. You ask somebody else. My buddy Brian, he went to like uh, a, cer- a school for like, um, like full, it's called full sale. It's for like production and stuff. Okay. And he said after he graduated, he heard from like family members he never even like heard of. Like <laughs> they thought he was like some oh, sort yeah. of celebrity, bro. <laughs> like oh, it's, it's it's crazy. Like and it's like people that like you know what like you know you see like your last name, you see like mutual friends on Facebook or something, and you're like okay maybe I know them. And then these people they just show up with no resemblance whatsoever. <laughs> Nobody is a mutual friend, and they're like oh remember that time we hung out in fourth grade and I'm like no I'm like not at all not once I don't I don't remember like last week's lunch you want me to remember right. fourth grade yeah <laughs> I don't remember what I had for breakfast <laughs> yeah it's you know it is it, it's funny but in the same stride like you know when am I ever going to get this again this is my 15 minutes of fame I'm enjoying it like you know no one's been like super creepy or <laughs> no one's been like a jerk about it which is yeah. fantastic uh-huh. nice Joe I want to ask too living such a healthy lifestyle what is uh, one of your guilty pleasures oh man you are talking to the king of Grubhub and I mean if anyone's listening from Grubhub and wants to sponsor me <laughs> be me. my guest yeah. <laughs> I, 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 so I am like a terrible terrible cook so like even right now, I le- I honestly just ordered Grubhub and the food came to the house and I just got some fries and some wings. Like I can go anywhere, but the biggest thing for me is pizza. And this is why like a lot of my friends were saying after I won the show, they were like, oh, you should do like a friend's reboot and be Joey Triviani because your name is Joe and you love food. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll make that Joey Triviani money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Jennifer Aniston still looks pretty good. She can come back, play Rachel. I'll be Joey. And we'll just like let the show fly. <laughs> what, what is Grubhub? I don't uh, that's where that. like it's like an app, right? And they deliver it to your house. And yeah, so anywhere. like Grubhub is something where like it's like all the restaurants around you, yes. and you can just pick and choose. You can order the menu. And my favorite part about it is I don't have to call on the phone because yeah. I am part of that generation where it's like, oh my god, I have to call and make an appointment for the you doctor. Sure, I really don't want to do that. <laughs> Mom, can you do this? Is like, there an app for this? Is <laughs> there an app? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And, I, and like, you know, I'm not like super proud of it. But I'm also honest about it. Like, it's just so much easier. So, we like, I don't know why, but I just thought it was kind of like an Uber service, but for food. It is. Where yeah. like somebody. It, it, but, is, it is. But I'm thinking like not like a restaurant. I'm thinking of like some guy like our intern Slambo could be like, oh, some guy wants a pizza and he throws it like. A frozen pizza in the oven, cooks it and well, brings well, it. Well, I don't think somebody if sets his meals on wheels. To, if your intern wants to send just, me some food, I'll gladly pay you. That's like meals it. on wheels, Slim. Dude, I, 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 yeah. dude, I can make a fucking mean ass gravy. Uh, he makes a good DiGiorno. <laughs> no, no, no. Straight up, dude, I can make a mean ass fucking spaghetti sauce. All right. Joe, Joe Peppy wants a All ham right, sandwich. Well, I'll make a ham sandwich. Get it off the off Lamborghini. Dude, I'll fucking prove it. I'm, I'm in for, I'm in for that. All that sounds amazing right now. So, like, you know, whatever we got to do to set up. <laughs> oh, that's great. Joe, too, I was going to ask you, um, are you, do you know David Banks? Because I, I found you through one of his tweets. Um. Yeah, yes and no. We know each other through social media. Okay. That's so, like, sure. it's not like, you know, we, we haven't hung out. We didn't go, like, party in, like, Miami together or anything. <laughs> we just have social media connections. Yeah. We talked a little bit. He did me a good favor, of, and, you know, he retweeted about the show, which was fantastic because he's a lot more popular than I am. So, you he's know, the awesome. only person I follow is my Twitter, <laughs> his grandmom and my dad at this point. So, you know, I don't really have too many followers. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Yeah, no, he's a really good guy. We've yeah. talked to him at least three times over the years. He's, oh, wow, really? Yeah. yeah no, he, he's a really awesome person. He yeah. did me a huge favor, so I definitely owe him one. And I know you he know, does, maybe like... Maybe I'll share that food that your intern's going to make. You yeah. Know? yeah that, that, well, have, you guys good. can bring David some spaghetti sauce. <laughs> I'll do it, man. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Just say when. <laughs> Just say when. <laughs> right now. Know, man. What I'll are you it. waiting for, Slambo? <laughs> yeah. I'm starving over here. Listen, I'm I'm up for it. Whatever, whatever you want, whatever place you want. You said spaghetti sauce. I'm Italian. That you sold it right there. We're good. Oh, uh, I want to ask too, Joe. Who named you the one of the hottest and healthiest in America? 
Oh, uh, so this was like a really weird situation in my life in the sense that I don't really know to this day who did. So you can get nominated for this apparently. <laughs> now, I was never on match. I did write for Livestrong as a fitness writer. And one day I get this email and it's just like so and so from Match, you know, hottest and healthiest. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I click it and I'm like, this has got to be spam. I'm going to delete it in two seconds. But yeah. it was an honest email. You could tell it was a real person. And it, uh, yeah, somebody nominated me. So somehow I was top 10 hottest and healthiest in America, which means 95% of America must be blind. <laughs> <laughs> you said you used to work you used to write for a live strong uh yes yeah, so i've written for a few magazines in freelance style men's fitness men's health live strong uh, i did some videos with ehow i write for stack magazine i kind of bounce around you know whoever needs help i you know i've made connections through different worlds so i just figured you know every chance i get i just write for someone i like to write so it's not a problem that's awesome. So what do you write? Because, like, all I know Livestrong for is because I f found their articles when I'm trying to, like, cook something, and I'll find recipes on uh, Livestrong or just, like, um, recommendations and stuff as far as healthy food. So do you write, like, healthy food articles or...? No, so I'm more on the sense of, like, you're looking for rock-solid legwork. Leg work. So I'm trying to figure some, like, some, like, some, like, written. But I write pretty basically i write what i do for a living in these articles like oh. i don't i don't ever spend hours in the gym that's it's just not fun i don't even really want to be there to tell you the truth i want to go home and enjoy myself so i want to get in i want to get out i want to go home so that's what my articles are about like here's something you could do for 20 minutes you're going to burn a lot of calories you're going to burn fat you're going to build muscle you're going to do all those keywords that you hear in every infomercial and <laughs> but it's going to be an actual good workout so that's what I write. It was like cool. leg workouts, ab workouts, full body workouts. It just really depends on like, you know, whoever emails me and they're like, hey, we need this. And I'm like, oh, I got you. Give me 20 minutes. What's uh, what's one of the basic, uh, the best basic things to start with to work out? So I tell most people that body weight exercises are the way to go because if you can't handle your own body weight, I don't need you trying to swing around these 45 pound weights or these 50 pound weights all over the place and hurting yourself. So I'd rather you try to do something like, and I know this is going to sound so cliche because I know there's so many articles, but there's a reason why it says it like planks, push ups, mm -hmm. body weight squats, you know, pull-ups, if you could do them, and if you can't, you work on the little helper movement that builds you up to a pull-up. But I am a huge fan of figuring out your own body weight, and I think that kind of comes from watching all these, like, Rocky montages and these superhero yeah. montages because I'm a giant superhero mm -hmm. nerd, so I watch <laughs> these movies man, all like... the time. I was going to ask, who's your favorite? I know you have a Superman tat. Um, yeah, so Superman is definitely my favorite. It's been my nickname since I was a child. I have a tattoo of that, but I also have a tattoo of the Green Arrow. I have a tattoo of Flash, but, like, if we're going Marvel, I'm going Captain America. Basically, it seems like anybody who gets crazy superhuman powers outside of Green Arrow, I love them. Like, it's, <laughs> it, you know, it's like one of them, like, I wish I got struck by lightning and can run faster than, like, lightning itself. Flash is cool. He's probably yeah. one of my favorite DC. What? Yeah, well, the goal the goal is after, like, the TKO thing, I think it was, like, one of my first tweets after, I was like, oh, let's see if this will work out. And I was like, hey, what's the chances of me getting on the Arrow show? And I, like, tagged some of the writers on it. And I was like, oh, cool, silence. I'm used to that. <laughs> 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 That's funny. I was going to ask you, too, Joe, what about kettlebells? I feel like they would just hurt your wrists. Like, our yeah. buddy Christian for a while was all about the kettlebell. <laughs> but I was like, dude, that thing looks dangerous. You know what? I tell most people, we have them in our fitness centers, and they have their place in workouts, but it also depends on your fitness level. Like, if you're a beginner, that's not where I want you to go because I, you need to be able, like you said, you can I, hurt your wrist that's from that. Right. You need to be able to flip your wrist. You need to be able to do it correctly. I got a question. How do I get my, sure. four, how do I get my forearms, like, bigger? Like, so I, I already okay. I already have like I I actually have like a decent like bicep. I'm already like, a fucking beast, Bob. No, like. no, no, no. I'm not a beast by any. <laughs> I'm not a beast by any measure. But, no, I, do, but I I have a good foundation. My upper arms. What do I do yeah. to like expand my forearms? Like, cause my forearms are just okay. Pathetic. 
So there's a lot of people who will just lead you straight down that path of like forearm curls where you put the your arm over a bench and then you just move your wrist up and down with a weight in it. And that's doable, but everybody says that. So let me give you a couple other ones that'll be a little more fun. Um, you go to a fitness center, you see those like plates that you would put on like a barbell or something like that. Yeah. Grab a couple of the smaller ones and I want you to pinch the top of them together. And when you pinch them, now, when I say this, grab small ones when you first do this, because I yeah. see, I told somebody this once and they went out and grabbed the 45 pounds, yeah. two of them, and it was funny to watch, but I don't want them to do that. You yeah, know? yeah. yeah I'm, I'm the fat ones. fuck that you would laugh at. Like, uh, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. that. That's definitely not worth it. Yeah, grab some smaller ones, either the fives or the tens, pinch them as hard as you can you're going to feel that forearm like contract and then i want you to just do a bicep curl as you pinch those plates oh, okay. hmm. All right. that's like one of the, one of the better movements it's actually a movement that um hugh jackman used in movies and i mean he's wolverine and yeah. you've seen that guy's arms oh yeah you don't not want to be wolverine yeah. yeah exactly exactly and then a real basic one that a lot of people like skim over but it's one of my favorite ones and it fits in with all these obstacle racing shows is what they call the dead hang. You get on a pull-up bar and as it states, you just hang from it. Just hang from the very bottom. You don't have to do a pull-up. You don't have to do any of that. You just hang with your arms nice and straight and your body locked in the position and you're going to feel all that through your forearms. How long do you and do that? Honestly, well, that's, so that's a failure thing in my eyes. Like, Say you do 20 seconds the first time. The next time you get up there, which I would suggest giving a day of rest in between, yeah. but the next time you go up two days later, aim for 25. Two days later, aim for 30. Two days later, 35 seconds. You can actually build yourself up to a point where it's like six, seven minutes and you're just hanging up there. I would suggest getting like a TV or something near you because that six minutes takes forever when you have nothing to watch. Yes, I was going to say, it's got to feel like an eternity. Oh, it's it's terrible. We have one bar in one of our fitness centers where I do this at, but the TV's behind me. So I try to like watch like NFL live through the mirror, but like it just doesn't work. Like the words are backwards, everything's confusing. So it's just the longest six minutes of my life. I was gonna say I don't like that eating dinner. I couldn't imagine trying to work out and do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, 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 you I mean, you know, I've been in the field for so long you get used to figuring out how to do the movements and using your rest period correctly to make sure your fantasy lineup is perfect. Nice, nice, dude. I um, I was recently looking into like a uh, calisthenic training and like body weight training and stuff like that, and I had discovered that there is this whole culture around like street workout they call where these guys who they say you can go anywhere, anywhere in the world, and and turn it into a pull up bar or, or make like a workout out of it. And I was just like fascinated by that. And these dudes could get really fit, and they'll do the shit like. Uh, what is it? The flagpole thing? Will they hang from like a fucking oh. street pole? Yeah, like a flag. Like yeah. So that that stuff. Like I'm gonna be completely honest. If you want to go viral on YouTube, go right ahead and try to do that first because yeah. you're gonna fail. It's gonna be hysterical to watch, <laughs> and you might make some money off YouTube off that factor. But well, we're like, not making it right. now, it's so we might as well the, do that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you might as well like you know throw the video up and get some money out of it. Yeah. But it's um it's it's amazing because when it comes to body weight, you, like you said, literally anywhere you want to go, you can jump on a tree branch, you can play in the park. Like there's so many different ways you can do so. You never have that excuse of like, oh, I can't do it today because I'm here. Yeah, like, you can literally run for thirty seconds, drop down, give ten push ups walk for a minute and repeat that five times and that's a workout nice joe we have to wrap this up dude but thank you so much for talking oh, no. to us no thank you thank you for inviting me anytime i'm always available awesome dude and where can everybody find you um so on instagram you can find me at jpep20 same thing as twitter and then otherwise you know just find me on the streets of philadelphia <laughs> 
Awesome. Hang, dude. Hanging from a street pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, hanging you were, from a street pole. You were one of the guys that spaghetti greased. that's about to come to my house, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> you were one of the guys that greased up those street poles, weren't you? <laughs> oh, no. You know, they, they did that during the Super Bowl, and all of Philadelphia just saw that as a challenge, and I don't think they're ever going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, have a good one, Joe. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Have a good one, guys. You too, Take brother. Care. Talk soon. Yeah. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. But later, bro.